What's up guys, Eddie Rod here, coming at you for another episode of Rod's Raging Rockets. And it is time to go home from Minmus. What's up, Ori? Oh, she want me to rub her belly. I can't rub your belly right now, I'm so sorry. I, I really, I'm so sorry. She's laying on her back, just staring at me, staring at me like, please rub my belly. <laughs> All right, so if we slow this down. All right. If we start burning retrograde. All right. Let's see what happens. Let's see how much fuel we got. We got plenty of fuel. I know that. All right. So let's see. Oh, whoa. Huh? That's retrograde, ain't it? Or I guess it just looked like it was. No. What the hell? Huh? How is prograde doing that? I don't know. I'm confused. I really am. Oh, God. What did I just do there? What, what, what did I just do there? Well, we're going to crash into the planet. All right, that's good. That, that's awesome. Hey, get it straight, Eddie. All right, how much? What is that right there? 30. Beautiful. Take it. Let's go home, shall we? feels good to be able to go home. Look at the speed we were going. <laughs> we were like probably at less than 200. I didn't see it exactly. I got to go back and look at it. Alright guys, you guys are probably thinking, that's how's that going to re-enter? No, that's going to re-enter. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm cool. Half you were like, no, duh. Oh man. That planet looks so beautiful. So beautiful. Now, here's the question. Are we landing in the ocean? I don't think so. Man, I wish we could be landing in the daytime and in the ocean. Actually, yeah, if we burn up. No? Screw it. When we slow ourselves down, it, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's just bring it in. Hold on. Let me turn myself this way. Alright, alright. Start slowing ourselves down. And let's see what happens. I want to land in this water right here. Yeah, there we go. Right off the coast. Let's just keep slowing ourselves down. Hell yeah. I don't want to take a chance. Now with my jab. Uh-uh. Look at all that gas though we got. Oh wow. We can slow ourselves down so much. That's about good. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to do a quick save just in case I'm wrong. We're going to do a quick little maneuver here. And that maneuver is going to be... Okay. There you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's flipping out like crazy. It's a UFO. Look. Oh, my God. It's a UFO. 
Wrong way, that way. Right there. Yep, right there. Nope, oh, right there. Yep, that sounds good. That looks good to me. Yep, perfect. Okay, guys, the moment of truth. Can we get a quick quick EVA? EVA. EVA. Ah, no, we can't. Dang it. Crew report? Anything? Nothing? Ah, snap. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be a bumpy ride? I don't know. It's just, I have this weird feeling. This time we're going to open it at 400. Yeah. Ooh, there goes my bike again. 400 sounds good to me. What do you guys think? If I was sitting up off camera, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. I just got to stretch my back sometimes. Oh, she's so precious. I wish you guys could see her. Maybe at the end of the episode, if she's still like that, I'll let you guys get a peek of how she's sleeping. Put the caps lock on. All right, the moment of truth, guys. Oh, God. Look at that beautiful effects right there. Oh, 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 what was that? Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, that was the, the other parts of the other. Oh, God. Don't scare me like that. Man. Oh, God, don't scare me like that. Beautiful re-entry. Beautiful, beautiful re-entry. Couldn't have done it better myself, Jeb. Let the wind take you. Pull that parachute. Beautiful. Landing in the ocean. The way we are supposed to. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. It's time warp in a little bit. The aerodynamics, wow, we're like slowing down so much more than if we didn't have air at Ferrum Aerospace. I never noticed that parachute really slows us down now. We would still be going like 100 meters per second right now. That's good, though, that it does slow us down. There's no gigantic G-force. All right, guys. 450, I think it was, or 400. Yep, 400. Oh, that's beautiful. We made it home. We're home, Jeb. What do you want to do? I want to get out. No, don't get out. Don't you get out. You you can look out the window and that's it. Oh. Okay, boss. Yeah, I'm the boss. That's right. Look at that beautiful view. Such a pretty view. You know it's a pretty view. Time to accelerate a little more. I should have it just open at 200. <laughs> or 150 would feel safe. I would feel, I wouldn't feel safe. No, no, no. I, I don't, yeah, probably 200 would be the closest I would deploy, deploy it. I wouldn't want to deploy it under 200. Two hundred meters height, not meters per second. All right, guys, here we go. Splash down. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we are going to get a EVA report. Keep it and. Can we get a sample without actually, no, nope. oh, get up there, get up there, ah. take a surface sample, keep that, all right, swim, Jeb, swim, jump, jump, no, don't you do me like this, Jeb, all right.
store the experiments. All right. And Jeb, you're you're going to have to chill out here, okay? Because I'm going to recover uh the Do you guys think he'll be safe? Oh god, we should probably recover him first, but my experiments. Astronauts are a dime a dozen. Experiments are very hard to get. That was mean, I know. 367. Yes. Very lovely. Can I go get my Jeb now, please? Jeb? Recover? Yes, I want to recover Jeb. Oh, thank you. Woo-wee! We did it, guys! We did it, we did it, we did it! Okay, let's go spend some science. What was that quick picture that just popped up there? I was like a flash or something. I don't know. All right. Now we've got some stuff for Mimbus. Some of these topics are much further researched than others. There are definitely some opportunities on Mimbus still. Okay. That's why we need to go back and make a base eventually. We've got a lot of research done on these subjects. Excellent. All right. So we pretty much finished up with the moon. We're good. With, well, I mean, we haven't finished it. There's still the poles and stuff, but we don't need to worry about the moon and for Kerbin itself, you know, including all the moons and everything, it needs a lot of work still. We haven't gone pretty much anywhere. We haven't even done the launch pad, I don't think. <laughs> all right, so let's spend some science. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? I want this more powerful, more lighter, less electric using, and I, and I want this, the, uh, the uh, SAS. I want that. Survivability, survivability and stability. Flight control, that's what it was. All right. I also want a Nazial experiment, maybe. Hmm. Solar ray. Ooh. <gasps> Gamma ray spectrometer. Ah! Oh my God! New parts that I was unaware of. I want that. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Ah, yes. We've got a gamma ray spectrometer, guys. Barometer. Ooh, I don't know. I want to build an airplane too. I don't know. Let's build. Let's get that. And uh, ooh, maybe we can build an airplane if I get that. Ah, oh, better engines. How I need you. Oh, I'll tell you what. I will get. I will go on ahead and get this one here, and then let's take a peek. I got 130. I can't get anything from over here yet. And I will get for the second one the better engines. Yeah. Take a peek in here. Yeah, I'll get the better engines. Okay. Yep, I like this engine right here. 475, 405 in the vacuum for LSP. I love it. I love it. And I like this engine right here too. How powerful? 1850. Yeah, we needed that. All right. We're ready to go, guys. Research that one there. Oh, God. Look at the tree is growing. Yes, the tree is growing. That's what she said. Corny, I know. All right, guys. So uh, we've got so much time left. Ah, we could go ahead and make this a short episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. My name is Eddie Rod. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Peace.